The nature of our projects is requiring the exposure to the risks when we are in direct contact with machines such as cranes and construction material transporting machines. These machines help us to reach high places or to carry out earthworks, roadworks, compacting or other works. To ensure our safety, we must use them responsibly and follow instructions while applying health and safety standards to reduce the risks that are associated with their use. It is necessary to stay away from the places where the equipment is being used by always maintaining a safe distance from the mobile machines. Always use the pedestrian lanes. You must also respect the speed limit and use your seatbelt Persons working or walking nearby need to understand that the operator's field of view can be restricted and they may not be able to see them in case they approach the equipment. Therefore, it is a duty of the driver and supervisor to monitor the perimeter of the equipment 360 degrees before starting the work and to identify the blind spots to avoid any kinds of risks, collision or crash. The goal is to ensure that there are no hazards that could endanger the safety of personnel or damage the equipment. It will also be necessary to verify that there are no electrical wires nearby, the work areas, and the place where the equipment is parked is stable. Last but not least, and not to omit the external factors, it is necessary to make sure that there is no strong wind that could be a risk for the operation. There is a risk of mobile equipment turnover in case it's operated on an uneven or unstable surface, particularly if the equipment is elevated and carrying a load such as a telehandler. When moving materials, the load must be appropriate for the type of equipment used and the nature of the land. Determine the path and make sure that the load does not block the vision. Respect the speed limit and reduce it on slopes and downhill because it is easy to overturn the load when the weight is light. However, a task supervisor, flagman, must be called in advance before lifting and transporting the load. He is qualified and certified to ensure that the location is safe and that the employees are away from the equipment. Mobile equipment shall only be operated by trained and authorized persons. That is why we are determined to monitor all equipment and ensure that our drivers are efficient according to the machine used. It is definitely necessary to inspect the equipment before using it and inspect it with the help of an assigned checklist. Likewise, avoid parking in front of the extinguishers, fire hydrants, power generators and be careful not to block the way for ambulances or firefighters who are able to intervene quickly in case of emergency. We help save lives by following critical risk protocols for the use of the mobile equipment operation. It is important that you always follow the health and safety guidelines and behave consciously.